Hi everybody, welcome back to The Daily Dose at Home. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the Visitor Engagement Department here at the Calgary Zoo. Today we've been talking all about giving animals the veterinary care that they need to be healthy and successful here at the Calgary Zoo. But how does that work? A lot of folks ask us, can you just go in with those animals to check on them? And the actual answer is no. Most of the animals at the Calgary Zoo are protected contact. And what that means is that our zookeeping team always keeps a barrier between themselves and the animal, both to keep the animal and our staff and volunteers safe. So how do we make sure that we're taking great care of them? We don't want an animal to have to go to the vet more often than they need to. So one of the ways we can do this is through training. Our big cats, this is the tiger skeleton behind me, or the lions like Baruti that you saw in the video earlier today, do training every day to help with their husbandry. This means we do training to help us take care of them. They are trained to do things like open their mouth and show us their teeth. What this lets us do is give a good visual inspection of what that lion's teeth look like while they're awake and behind a mesh barrier. This tells us if they need to go visit Dr. Doug, Dr. Adriana, or Dr. Sandy for that dental checkup. So what would they be looking for? This is a lion's skull, and we can see our lion teeth. These are our incisors in the front, canines, and these special teeth in the back are called carnassials. One difference between humans and cats, cats do not have molars. They can't truly chew their food. They have this very special tooth here called a carnassial, and it works like a pair of scissors. When they take down their prey, they can use their carnassial teeth to shear things apart. They don't truly chew. Cats also have a really cool tongue. If you've ever been licked by a house cat at home, you'll know that it feels like sandpaper. And that's because they have papillae, which are thousands of tiny little hooks on their tongue that help them rasp the meat off the bone. So when a cat like a lion has to go to the dentist, doing that daily training helps us know how often those kinds of checks need to happen. Because as you saw, the veterinary care process can be more involved. Doing that training every day helps us take care of the animals here at the Calgary Zoo. We want to make sure you at home have that great dental health as well. One of the ways you can do this is by learning about your own teeth. So we challenge you today to look in the mirror. Can you find your incisors, your canines, premolars, and molars? They all have a different function to play in your mouth. But what if you had carnassial teeth? Maybe draw us a picture of what it would be like if you had the teeth of like a carnivore. Humans are omnivores, so we have all of those different teeth to help us eat a healthy diet of different fruits and vegetables. Whereas our lions, they are carnivores, so their diet is different. Thanks so much for tuning in to another Daily Dose at Home. Thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.